Hey there everyone, welcome back to Bantam Music. There is a new set of bagpipes coming to me from eBay. Uh, the last set unfortunately got lost in transit, Pure Later couldn't can, can tell me anything. These new ones should be here within one to two weeks, so let's hope that they come here on time. <laughs> What I want to talk about today is um, if you are in the market for a set of bagpipes and you're not sure what kind to get, another uh, component of the pipes is the size of the pipe bag. Some of you may not be uh, aware that there are different sizes of pipe bags. Yes, there are different sizes. For example, the size of pipe bag that I use is an extended medium, M medium being the, re the main keyword, but there are extra small, small, medium, um, and extra large etc and there are a few places where you can get the sizes of pipe bags and if they're not listed on the website then you can get a hold of the manufacturer but let me show you what I'm talking about so I have Dunbar bagpipes up here right here I have poly bagpipes it's uh, basically the first um, link in uh, the bagpipes menu that you get if I go down to um, this first bit, which is a P1 pulley bagpipe, um, etc. And the thing I want to point out is aside from all of these other options that you get, and there's a lot, you go down to bit pipe bag. So choose a pipe bag. So if I bring down this um, uh, menu here, you'll notice that the first um, option is no pipe bag. If you check no pipe bag, that's what is self-explanatory. You're not going to get any pipe bag with it. It's just going to be the drones, the chanter, etc. If you do need a pipe bag, which most people do, then you, there's a whole bunch of options here. So small, standard, medium, large, and you can read the rest all um, the way down to um, these ones here. Now, the rest of the options here are synthetic and cowhide and bannatine, etc. The difference between synthetic and cowhide is that synthetic is basically a replica of um, a natural skin pipe bag. For example, sheep skin compared to a synthetic is going to give a different, more harmonious, um, pure sound. A lot of people, uh, most people honestly, will go for a synthetic pipe bag because it doesn't take nearly as much maintenance, aka seasoning, uh, consistent playing, etc., to get the pipe bag in that optimal playing um, condition and keep it there. Synthetics don't require that. So that's why synthetics are actually way more popular than the, than um, uh, naturals like cowhide and sheepskin. Jack Lee used to be my teacher uh, several years ago, uh, now with John Cairns. So we have cowhide pipe bag here and um, down here you'll notice that there is a option to choose your bag size. There's small all the way up to extra extra large and then there's a Gandhi size which apparently is um, Bruce Gandhi's size. When you go to choose uh, your bag pipe size um, you'll be able to choose it from here or you can get in touch with them directly to see what size of pipe bag will work best for you. When you go to order it uh, when it says rubber grommets, those are the uh, rubber grommets that you fit into the uh, cutout holes of the pipe. Why do you need the right size pipe bag for you? This may not be a common thing to think about when purchasing a set of bag pipes. So when you're looking at a pipe bag, there's a few considerations that you want to remember when looking at the different sizes. One, the bigger the pipe bag, the more air it's going to take. If you are playing on your own and not in a band, then I would get the smallest pipe bag that you can get that will allow you to not over exert yourself. If you're gonna go for a smaller bag, that's less air that you have to put in. If you're playing in a band, the chances are that your pipe major is gonna wanna go for a pipe bag that everybody in the circle plays. That way they know the system that everyone's going to use and they know exactly what to do with the system. When choosing a pipe bag, you want to be able to put your arm over top of the pipe bag and have the neck of the bag go underneath your wrist. Be able to put your hands on the chanter comfortably and be able to regulate the um, motion between uh, squeezing the bag and blowing into the bag. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will see you in the next one.